I'm using HP as an example, but you know, this works with any different vendor. If you go to support, you'll see a software and drivers option. And I'm just going to put in the printer model. Just type in 4630 and it finds it, HP all-in-one. So you'll put in your model at this point. And we see a couple of different drivers. One is this full-blown driver with 162 megabytes. And the other one is this basic driver. So I recommend you just download the basic driver. I've downloaded the basic driver and we see the executable here. So what we can do is double click on it, but we're not going to install it. So I'm going to double click and you'll see it's extracting all the files. And what's the, what this is doing is it's putting all these files into a temp folder and we're going to use those temp files to install the driver without having to install the entire executable. So once that's done, then we'll switch over to File Explorer and then I'll show you where those temp files are. All right, the extraction is done. We'll go to the C drive, users, and I'm going to go to my administrator because that's who I'm logged in as. Now you're going to look for app data. If you don't see app data, then go up to view and make sure that file name extensions are turned on. Once in app data, we'll click on local because we're logged in locally to the computer. We're not using roaming profiles, but if you are, you can use that. And we see HP in here, but that's not the folder that we want. We actually want to go down to where it says temp. Double click on temp. And we're going to look for the date and time of the folder from when you just double clicked on the executable. And there's all of the files from the executable all spread out. Now, if we want, we can copy all of these to another location because once you're done with the executable, it will cause all those files to disappear. But in our case, I'm just going to leave them here. And really what it's going to use is the, the INF file here, and it's going to use the DLL files uh, that are also in here in one of these subfolders above or somewhere inside this list of files. So now I'm going to go to where it says Have Disk, and I'm going to copy this location again and paste it in. And look, it found our printer. So we can install this printer without having to install the executable, which may put a bunch of unwanted uh, programs onto our server. So I'll click Next. And you can change this to a different name if you want. It's installing the printer. And now we have the option to share the printer. I'm going to share it. Click Next. And we're going to leave this as the default printer. If we want, we can also print a test page, but I don't really need to do that. Let's click Finish. Now we'll go back to our control panel. And there is our HP 4630.